YouTube. I posted on Instagram asking if you guys wanted to see more POV videos. And here we are. So I'm on my way back from work and I wanted to make a video for those of you that want to buy a Focus. I wanted to talk about how it is to daily drive it. Right now, let's go ahead and talk about the pros and the cons of daily driving a Stage 2 Focus ST. So right now I'm in traffic. The first con I'd say is obviously that it's a manual, but that's just personal. To me, I love it. It doesn't bother me at all. It's like second nature just to drive like that. But yeah, some people won't like the fact that it's a manual, but I'd say that's a problem. Now, a good thing, I love how comfortable this car is. It has Recaro bucket seats, which are leather. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, my girlfriend actually doesn't really like them, but to me, they're really comfortable. They're not comfortable for a long drive though, I'm not gonna lie, but for the just daily driving, you know, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, another thing I wish this car had, uh, I wish it was more driver oriented. I mean, as a sports car and, you know, it's considered a track car and whatnot. I wish it was, like I said, like the Supra, how it's, everything is aimed towards you, like something like the C8. Um, I also wish it had a flat bottom steering wheel. This one looks a little outdated, but it is a 2014. So I know the generation after this one, uh, they have the flat bottom and it's, it's, it's an okay steering wheel. I also don't like these little silver things, but other than that, uh, it feels really great, the leather and whatnot. One of my other favorite things about this car are the fact that it has these lights on your feet and in the cup holder and in the door sills. Super nice, uh, it comes with the car. This is where you change the color and put it brighter and whatnot. So now let's talk about fuel mileage and whatnot. So I don't know if you guys can see, I'll zoom in, but right now I'm doing 26.3 miles to the gallon. Um, it's not, I, I honestly think that's really good. It's also only a 12 gallon tank. So like you'll think you're wasting a lot of gas, but it's really just a small tank. I barely beat on it to be honest you know it's well taken care of I'll just beat on it you know like when I'm driving with my friends or whatnot but other than that when I'm driving alone home uh, it gets treated very well the car does see wide open throttle every day and I've had it since September and I can truly say you know like I don't want to jinx it but man it's been good to me you know um, it's it had nothing has happened and you know we're just gonna keep it at that because I don't want to make it worse for myself the manual gearbox this is my first ever Ford I've had a Civic and I have the e34 now uh, the Civic is my mom's. I've never had a manual Ford and I've always heard, I mean not heard, but Ford are known for not having the best transmissions, especially during these years. Um, this one is really well, it feels great, it engages quick, even like, I mean it's front wheel drive, but if I were to launch, like it'll engage, it doesn't slip. It's really good, it's really good for daily driving, it feels great, it's not mushy, it's not tight. It feels great. Another favorite of my car is nobody expect like a Focus to have the power that it has. I talk crazy, like I, I don't want you guys to think that I think I'm the fastest Focus and whatnot. I'm still stock turbo, stock internal, so I know I'm not. Well, I had a friend with the 335 N55. We raced and you know, I won that, which surprised me. That was probably my first race. Uh, that same guy had rented a CLA, I think 45 AMG which is a it's a two liter turbo but it has like 280 horsepower with the seven speed dual clutch um that one took me but just because he was able to shift faster than me other than that if it was just power to power i was there my friend has a, a fiesta st which i know is a smaller motor but i also raced that and i've won that um i've lost a couple you know and i'll whenever i get a race on camera i'll post if i lose you know it's all fun but anyway um a lot of people say you can't make an EcoBoost sound good, but to me, this car sounds great. It has a exhaust from the cap back, and it sounds perfect. The only thing is, it has like a lot of drone. See if I can get that on camera. See if you can hear it. Yeah. If you guys can hear that, it has like a lot of drone. It could be way worse, but like, it, it, <laughs> it hurts my ears sometimes. Other than that, um, I love the car, it sounds great. It, it has a blow off valve, uh, intercooler, whatnot. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the turbo noises sound amazing. Yeah, let's get a little pool in. So, you know, like I said, it's most definitely not the quickest car but it's so much fun to me. I want reliable, you know, it's my daily for now, but it's just, it is what it is, it's a fun car. One of my favorite features, or not even features, one of my favorite things about this car is that it's a hatchback. Now, one thing I do wish is that it was a little bigger. So, I'm not that tall, I'm around like 5'10", 
511. I don't even have my seat back all the way. As you can see, I don't, I don't have the clutch pressed in, but this is what it would be like if the clutch was pressed in all the way. You know, it's not straight. I can still put it back, but if I were to put it back, anybody that sits back there is literally like a freaking tuna can. Let me put the windows up just in case you guys can't hear me. Other than that, I love the fact that it's a hatchback. I think it looks great. I think Ford really missed out on the front end of this car. It doesn't look as aggressive, but they did great with the generation after that, which I think is 2015 or 2016. But yeah, like from the front end, this car doesn't look sporty at all. It looks actually kind of soft. But um, the side profile of this car is probably my favorite on any car. I think it looks super aggressive with the spoiler, which isn't even that big. The RS has a bigger spoiler, but still looks great. Other than that, I think Ford did really, really good with their ST line. Uh, they have the Explorer ST, the Escape, I think, ST. I think all the ST lines, they're probably one of my favorite lines. I like the new N lines in the Kias now, but other than that, I think ST has done really, really good. Um, I think they're pretty close with the SS line. I mean, none of them are V8, but still kind of cool how Ford did that. We got a little bridge down here. Let's see if we can get some audio in. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the torque steer on this thing is horrible. <laughs> For those of you that have an ST or want one, so there's something called torque steer, which is when you have open diff, one tire is spinning, so basically fighting the steering wheel the whole time. Other than that, it controls amazing. I can't explain how well this car handles. Like everything is so tight and it feels amazing. My favorite thing about this car, it was something I was looking in a car. I love the all black. I need tints. I know that I'm in a fishbowl right now. But other than that, the all black look is one of my favorites. This just like kicks it off so much, but everything else is black. You know, I mean, it has its like little incense and whatnot. I love this shift knob too. It feels great. I, I also think it's weighted, which is kind of cool. Probably one of my favorite features on this car is the shift knob. I would never change it. And I don't know why Focus owners change their shift knob. This one feels great. It feels amazing. Um, its throws are actually pretty long. If you guys can see that, that's fifth to six right there. It's pretty long, but it's not bad. It could be a lot worse. I love the stereo. One thing though is like, it is pretty delayed. Like if I put the volume up, I mean, like the visuals, I mean, if I touch something, it'll take a while to go through. But I think this was like its first generation. So I kind of understand. One of the super cool things about this car, are your gauges here. So it comes with a boost gauge, as you can see. Um, it comes with your oil temperature and it comes with your oil pressure. A lot of newer cars will tell you if something's wrong, but it's cool to always see like what you got going on, your temperature and your boost gauge especially. You have those and then you have your block temperature and your fuel right here. But one of my favorite features right there and that's super driver oriented as it's pointing towards you. Kind of cool. I also love the F out of this embroidment right here of the ST. There's ST placed all over this car, which is amazing you know what i mean like it, it feels great because that's what you, that's what you bought it for you got an st for a reason so there's st on the door sills it'll say st when you turn on the car it's kind of cool cool feature i'm gonna put gas in it right now i'm at a little above half but you're gonna see how cheap it is it's a small tank so 12 gallon right now i probably put four and a half gallons in four and a half times 3.70 isn't a lot so all right let's fill her up why do people do that? Why? Why? Just take it off. See? It's not that bad. It's really not that bad. So a brand new fresh tank of gas. Let's waste some a little bit. seen fast and furious you know what i was talking about <laughs> literally ended up like dom right there so this is what it's like to daily drive a focus um you know i was just pinning it for the video but i really baby this car i do an oil change every 3,000 miles um people could say it's up to five but um like i said when i go out with the boys i i do abuse it sometimes so i like to do it every 3,000 miles just to take care of it I also want to know um, if you guys like these point of view videos, let me know, please. 
I've been had the GoPro, but I never use it. I just bought the headset because on my Instagram, people wanted to see a point of view video. So here I am delivering it to you guys. So if you guys like these videos, just go ahead and let me know. I, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, this is what it's like to daily, this beautiful little beast. Um, um, you could make them a lot louder, but I am catted. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video.